light therapy has in the past gained a controversial reputation after it was exposed that intense pulse light and other laser treatments cause serious damage to patients. These therapies are well known in the beauty and skin care industry, but many people do not know that laser light therapy can be used for a number of practical and safe treatments. Ongoing laboratory research at the University of Johannesburg on laser techniques show promise for various medical treatments in future. Three fields of research that we focus on is diabetic wound healing, uh, photodynamic cancer therapy and stem cell differentiation. And in diabetic wound healing, um, you know diabetes is, the incidence of diabetes is increasing in Africa and worldwide. And one of the most significant problems associated with diabetes is um, diabetic ulcers. So diabetic ulcers normally become infected and this can lead to um, limb amputation, etc. There's a, a myriad of different complications associated with diabetes. The treatment boosts the human body and enables it to speed up the healing process. The work basically that I focus on is on wound healing and um, photobiomodulation is used to, to stimulate wound healing. So we have done a um, study here at the university uh, on a clinical, um, clinical study on patients. It was done um, in conjunction with the podiatry department and this, there the student treated um, patients with diabetic ulcers um, using normal or standard podiatric treatments in um, combination with the light therapy and um, patients uh, responded very well to the light. The ulcers um, healed much quicker than those that res didn't receive the light therapy and some ulcers resolved within three weeks or eight weeks. Professor Abraham says open about the controversy surrounding laser therapy and says that many efforts have been made to ensure that the therapy is safe. Although phototherapy has been used for probably close to 40 years worldwide. There's been a lot of controversy associated with this type of therapy, uh, mainly because of contradicting uh, research results that had been published. And one of the main problems with the research that had been produced in the past is the different uses of laser parameters. For us was to initiate our research to dis establish the specific laser parameters used. So it's been very important, not only in South Africa, but also internationally, to establish specific laser parameters and then produce the research. And that has now um, become the norm that especially if you publish um, research associated with phototherapy, that you are very specific in what laser parameters are used because too much light can induce damage while too little light will induce absolutely nothing. A small number of medical professionals in South Africa are already making use of laser light treatment. This Pretoria-based physiotherapist is optimistic about what prospects lay ahead for light therapy. Um. This is a systemic treatment bed, so if somebody has got, say, psoriasis or, um, you know, whole body dermatology uh, conditions like psoriasis, eczema, and dermatitis, that covers the whole body area. So this is a much more practical and easy solution to treat the whole body treatments. So this is quite new in the world now, and then we can even progress in the future with research. You can actually do now... Hopefully in the future we can do liver diseases, lung diseases, uh, because your ox blood oxygen levels is higher after, um, because your, the light is absorbing the blood, your whole, that whole energized light and blood can throw through your whole body, so your whole body, all the systems is going to work better, like your lungs, your liver, your heart, your kidneys and everything. So it's very, very impressive and I'm very excited about that. Patients who are receiving low-level light therapy have experienced positive results and express how this therapy has positively impacted on their lives. I couldn't believe what I seen. There was no redness in it. It was a little bit red on the top. Uh, I didn't use any plaster, only a few, only socks around it. 
being a therapist in practice I had a lot of difficulty helping clients while I'm still suffering from a lot of pain, muscle aches and spasms and headaches that was debilitating my, my ability to be a full-time therapist. Those who have first-hand experience of lasers and their potential advocate for light as a healing mechanism for both humans and animals. Continued research will ensure that significant advances are being made in the field of light as medication therapy. For Morning Live, I'm Zainab Dokrat.